So this is going to be a brief tutorial on how to graph in my math lab. And this is definitely one of the more frustrating features of this online system, but with some practice you'll be able to master it. So I'm going to show you three different examples, and we'll start with this first one. Using the intercepts to graph the equation x plus 4y is equal to 8. So students kind of automatically jump to the method that they're most comfortable with for graphing, but my math lab is very picky. If it tells you to use the intercepts, when you go to plot that line, the two points that you're going to use need to be the intercepts, or it will be marked wrong. So just to show you the work on the side, I've gone ahead and solved for those intercepts. We know where they're happening at, but I'm going to try to graph this using the slope and y-intercept. So I'm going to be going through my y-intercept, but the second point is not going to be the x-intercept. Just to show you that my math lab is actually very picky. So I'm going to go ahead and click to enlarge the graph, make it a little bit bigger, easier to see, and choose this line tool to be able to plot these points. So the first one, I'm going to go through my y-intercept. So I'm going to click at that point. That's my first line and from there I'm going to move according to my slope. So down 1 over 1, 2, 3, 4. And up in this right hand corner as I move around that line there's a point that tells me exactly where uh, that point is lying. Because it's kind of hard to tell with the grids as it moves. It doesn't move per one unit. It might move a little bit um, more refined than that. So I have my line and it's plotted, but I'm not going through the x-intercept. I'm using the slope and the y-intercept. So if I go ahead and save this, even though the line is correct, and I go to check that answer, it doesn't like it because I did not use the intercepts to draw it. So I did graph it correctly, but we need to use the method that they're intending. So I'll go ahead and click OK and start again. So I'll go ahead and clear that graph out. And again, grabbing that line tool, First point doesn't matter in this case because I'm going to be plotting it at 0, 2, and 8, 0. So I'm going to go ahead and graph the y-intercept first at that point, 0, 2. And again, up in the right-hand corner, we can see that point. So 0, 2, plotted that one, and 8, 0, plotting that one as well. And now it's the same line, but it's traveling through those intercepts. I've done what the computer has asked. So it's very picky. If it tells you to graph with the intercepts, you need to graph with the intercepts and put those points through the x and the y axis. All right, another question. We want to graph the line containing the given pair of points and find the slope. So in order to graph these again, what needs to happen? We can click to enlarge it. It doesn't have to happen over here on that small graph. And we can go ahead and scooch it to the side so I can see those points. We can always move that window around. I want to come over here and select again this line tool. It will allow me to plot these points. So the first one I need to go through negative 3, 0. Again, we can look in the upper right hand corner. And the second point needs to go through negative 4, negative 1, 2, 3. All right. And we have that line. We'll go ahead and click Save, and we can submit that answer. The last example that I'm going to walk you through is graphing an inequality. So we need to be able to change a solid line to a dashed one if needed, and we need to shade um, one of the half planes after we've graphed that boundary line. So just to run you through the steps in order to complete this kind of graph, again on the left hand side I have the steps written out for what we need to do. So I'm going to go ahead and click to enlarge the graph again. We can move it around if you need to, but I need to select that line tool again. And how we plot the boundary line, um, the computer doesn't care about. So if you want to go through the intercepts, go ahead if you want to graph using the slope and the y-intercept, which is the route that I'm going to go, that will also work. So my y-intercept is going through the point 0, 5, and from there I need to move according to my slope up 1, over 1, make a point there. So we've graphed that boundary line. Step 1 is done, but my inequality that is involved is less there. 
not equal to. We don't have the option of equality. So I need to go over here and select this dashed line. So I need to make the selected object dashed. So that's telling me that I have less than or greater than. And we need to choose a test point on either side of this boundary line. So I chose 0, 0. When I plug that point into my original inequality, it holds true. So that tells me I need to shade below this line. My solution set includes all of the points in the lower half plane. So we come over here and select this little paint bucket to be able to shade a region. And again, I know that I need to shade below, so anywhere underneath the line, if we select it, it will fill in um, the shading for you. Go ahead and click Save, and again, you can submit, check your answer.